In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Java Pathfinder uh, JPF Core uh, in your machine. I'm using a Mac OS X JDK 1.8 NetBeans 8.0.2, uh, but uh, it should be uh, available. It is available for Windows and uh, Eclipse uh, IDEs as well. Uh, you can find the system requirements by clicking this link uh, that has the detailed description of what all is required. Um, and uh, uh, for this uh, you can download two versions of uh, Java Pathfinder one is the binary another is uh, uh, the source code through their mercurial repository uh, NetBeans by default doesn't have mercurial so you can download it by clicking this link and uh, downloading this file I already have it installed so I'm not going to reinstall it here, um, but it's a simple mpkg file. But just in case, uh, if it doesn't let you install, this is because uh, Mac by default doesn't allow third-party applications. So, so you have to get it uh, changed in your system settings. Uh, after that, uh, it should let you install it. Uh, and after that, um, you can check if the installation is correct by typing he dash dash version so this should let you know that uh, the mercurial is, is installed properly after that you need uh, to download the NetBeans uh, plugin uh, for JPF uh, that's available in this link uh, once you go in here uh, you can click this try downloading the file instead so um, I've already, I have downloaded it here and you can go to your NetBeans and uh, you can go to your tools and plugins and you can click the downloaded one and uh, you can click the add plugin and uh, go to that proper location demo downloads okay so after you open it yes so and then you can click install the shared install the jpf plugin for netbeans um it's a pretty good uh, utility if you are going to be running uh, uh jpf uh, a lot so it's not signed but it's okay click continue so it's finished installing the plugin. Um, preferably uh, restart your NetBeans. So, okay. There's a lot of project open, it's going to take a bit of time. So, once this is installed, you need to create a folder under which uh, you'll be storing all the jpf modules uh, it has a lot of extensions so it's better to keep all of them under one i've named the jpf underscore home here you can keep it wherever you want in your hard disk uh, but i strongly recommend to keep all your jpf uh, modules uh, into the same folder uh, you will understand why i'm saying this when you create the site.properties file so um, it means it's not okay it's here come on i uh, will pause the video until my beans boots up yeah. 